everything I ever said, I bet I stand on it. All this fame got me going to bring problems. But if a nigga play, we gon' get them murdered tomorrow. One city different. I know everybody ain't gon' be there. My family gon' be there. Tell it you and Papa. Pussy niggas standing on cars, see we stand on words. My partner begging for a body, my nigga. Alright y'all, welcome back to Hot Topics TV. If you've never been here before, just go ahead and hit that subscribe button and click the bell next to the subscribe button so you are notified every time a new video goes up on Hot Topics TV. YF and Lucy. Damn, I don't know if you want to call him 10 toes down, standing on business, square business kind of dude, gangster. Whatever you want to call YF and Lucy. Just know he's going through it, he's going through it, he's getting to it, and he's keeping a solid 100. Y'all know wife and Lucci was supposed to, or was subpoenaed to testify at Young Thug's RICO trial against Young Thug. And despite all that has been happening to wife and Lucci behind bars, eh, allegedly hits put out on him. Said to have been put out by Young Thug. Wife and Lucy still said, Hey man, don't put me in all that. I am not testifying against him. I guess what Wife and Lucy is trying to say is, We gonna handle this beef our way. Gangster's way. In the streets or behind these walls. But not with the police. Alright, so Wife and Lucci is looking to begin his RICO trial in six months or to be acquitted. YFN Lucci has been incarcerated since 2021. We are pushing towards the end of 2023. He still has not gone to trial. Where is his constitutional right to a speedy trial? Wife and Lucy has been incarcerated since 2021 due to his ongoing RICO case. And he is seeking his trial to finally take place after a long delay. His trial was initially set to take place in January of 2023. But as you can see right now, I'm talking to you in this video. It is September 3rd of 2023. So it got postponed. However, wife and Lucy's attorney reportedly recently filed a motion on August 30th in order for his trial to quickly arrive. According to the new legal documents, right? Uh, I think we heard this through academics. The goal is for it to finally kick off within six months. They're giving a time limit. Six months, man. Or all charges against the Atlanta rapper need to be completely dropped so he can be acquitted. Furthermore, Wife and Lucy also recently rejected a plea deal. Two weeks ago, an updated photo of him in prison went viral as his hair grew out into locks and also he grew a longer beard. He back there wolfing. You know, you know how it goes when you in the trenches. You know how it goes when you locked in, boxed in. You know, uh, hey, let me say something real quick. I've been peeping the whole young thug going to court, you know. And there are times when thugger looks rough. Like, his dreadlocks look like they're going through it, right? Struggle locks. And then there are times when he comes in there and looks like he just left the beauty salon from Peachtree. He just left the beauty salon from Midtown Atlanta and somebody hooked him up. So take with it what you will. I just be wondering who did his hair? Who made his hair look so good? Did they give him a break to go to the beauty salon to get him ready for court? Hmm. Or is he dealing with them peoples back there? Anyhow, you know, back to wife and Lucci. So Lucci was initially arrested back in 2021 due to a murder case in Atlanta. He 
and his wife and crew allegedly got into a shootout with a rival gang. And as one of Lucci's members was shot in the car, he supposedly tossed that member's body out the car and kept it moving. Lucy was quickly able to post the $500,000 bond that he was released on. But he was right back in jail for bond violation as well as for the latest massive 75 page 105 count RICO indictment against him and others of his associates. Listen. They said Atlanta has become a safer place since wife and Lucy and young thug have been taken off the streets because the beef was between wife and Lucy's crew and young thugs crew. I can't argue with the numbers. I am not the police, but one thing I do know is that wife and Lucy says that he is a gangster and it looks like he is standing on it now as far as what's been going on with him behind bars the last time we heard before this he got stabbed up he got poked up behind bars and that information was revealed during young thugs case being heard the sad thing and crazy part is the persons who did it behind bars actually admitted to doing it and also testified against Young Thug by saying Thug of them gave the orders for wife and Lucy to be poked up behind bars and they poked him up behind bars. So to see wife and Lucy taking this hard gangster stance like I'm going through it. But I'm going to be all right. And I'm not folding one bit. I don't know. The average person, you try to kill me behind bars. You stab me up and all that. I'm sorry. The first chance I get, I'm telling on you. I'm testifying against you. I'm using a system to bury you so deep in it. Because at the end of the day, it's chess, not checkers. You understand? And at the end of the day, these streets don't love you. So what type of loyalty am I supposed to have to these streets? But I understand. I understand the code of ethics. And I understand that YFN Lucy and Thugger and people like these. YFN Lucy understands that he made a decision. He made a commitment, right, to live a certain type of lifestyle and he is standing on square business now back to his right to a speedy trial it is the constitutional right of every american to have a speedy trial that was placed in a constitution so individuals would not be sitting behind bars for years waiting on trial but you know what it's a reality in the system. Look at YNW Melly. Guilty or innocent, YNW Melly been locked up for going on five years. And his trial has just started. Wife and Lucci been locked up since 2021. And his trial still has not started. So they trying to give him one of those type of treatments. Four or five years into your incarceration, we will finally start your trial. And then we'll credit you for the years that you served before you even got to trial. That within itself seems to be unconstitutional. So his attorneys have put forth now basically forcing the hand of the courts. Try my client within the next six months. Or drop all the charges and let my damn client go. And I think it's only fair. Hey, let this be a lesson though. To those on the outside looking in. Window shopping at this lifestyle thinking that it looks so good in there. Hey man, once you in there, it's hard as hell to get out. 
and getting out is not in your control. So always remember that. We wish wife and Lucy all the best. We'll stay close to his story. Pretty interesting. And, you know, let the chips fall where they may. Hit that subscribe button. Click the bell next to the subscribe button so you are notified every time a new video goes up on Hot Topics TV. I'm out. Peace.